good morning. Uh, I'm going to kind of break into our routine of our daily devotions. Uh, we are taking our day off and we're doing a benefit uh, concert and just trying to help volunteer work and things. We're uh, outside of Dallas, Texas in the little town of Garland. Uh, they had a major disaster here a couple of weeks ago and many, many people have lost their homes. Thousands of people are out of their homes living in shelters and several people died as a result of the tornadoes that hit this town. It is utter destruction. And as you can see behind me, uh, these homes are completely destroyed. Uh, when I look at these the kids, uh, their toys for Christmas are here, the Christmas trees are over there, and little strollers and things like that. These are families. People were raising families in these homes. And even clothes are still hanging up in the closets. I mean, the utter devastation, and to know that in the matter of a moment, their life was forever changed. The tragedy has come and it has made disaster. It has made this place different and not for the better. We arrived in town today and uh, didn't really understand the significance of what we were getting into. And then when we passed, this is one of many sites of destruction that we chose to stop and do some volunteer work. Uh, we got off the bus and all of us just were broken into tears, moved at this site of just total devastation. And uh, I tell you, when Satan comes in our own lives, if we allow him to wreak havoc, he'll, he'll, he'll bring the same kind of devastation. You can look at all this total destruction. That's what he can do in our lives if we allow him to have a foothold. Gloria Gaither and Bill Gaither wrote a song. It's called Since Jesus Passed By. And she told the story of when they had the idea of writing the song. They had visited a place that soon after... Uh, they were there soon after a tornado and they saw this total destruction and she said, I looked out and there's piles of rubbish that had just been completely just, these homes had been turned upside down and completely destroyed. She goes, and I looked in the middle of all that rubbish was a little, was a little girl's doll. She said, I picked that doll up. And she said, even though we knew something had happened, we weren't there when it happened. We knew that this place had been devastated by tragedy, by destruction. The same way when Jesus comes into our life, but with the opposite effect. He makes a difference. The wellspring of life begins to flow in through us and out of us. We begin to live a life of complete peace and a life of complete joy. Even the strongest addict or the abusive father or the wayward son or the lost granddaughter, whatever the situation may be in your life, the, the daddy who, who was an alcoholic, and those prodigals come home. And it's made a difference when Jesus passes by in our lives. And I'm so grateful for the day that Christ has come into my heart and changed me for the better. He has made a difference in my life. And many times in the midst of, I found myself in the midst of destruction and in the battlefields of my own doing and my own making. I've sat there in the stillness and allowed God to speak to me to restore my soul. And so today... If you're in the middle of destruction in your own life, if you're in the middle of a time where it seems like tragedy is on every hand and the storms of life are raging out of control, I want to give you a word to encourage you that Jesus will pass by and he will offer the opposite of destruction. He will bring back together what was broken. He can make it whole again. He can heal you in his name. I want to leave you with a word. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. That's a lot of destruction. Though the waters thereof war and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered in his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. 
Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolations He has made in the earth. He makes wars to cease into the end of the earth. He breaks the bow. He cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in fire. Friends, here it is. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Say, let God be a strength. Let him be a very present help in your time of trouble today. God bless you.